god, the, the Miis, like, their faces on the character select are just, like, pixel cropped into it. So it just doesn't look right. You'll notice it. But we're starting game one. Uh, immediate tornado in there, as we were just talking about. So, uh, I haven't been here for this whole doubles. I pretty much just got here. Who do you think is favorite to win on this one? On this match? Yeah. Zace and TP were looking pretty strong earlier. Zace is doing very well at cleaning up whatever temp uh, happens to pick up. Okay. And uh, the, there's the one. And then there's the is SD. That, <laughs> is that temp is a bit more reckless with what he's doing. Right. Uh, which can work in their favor because sometimes he'll get kills like that. Yeah, just a raw up B actually <laughs> kills the sword fighter off the top. Yeah. And then he usually gets decent setups that Zayz can capitalize on. Oh, it, I didn't notice. He actually isn't taking the chakra. He's taking the weird flip thing. Okay. And uh, that was actually a really good down smash, getting rid of that wolf just immediately. Let's so it looks like... I, I think Zard's at two stocks right now. So blue team has a little bit of a deficit, but the fact that red team is so high puts them in such a precarious position. Uh, and you can actually see that red team is playing way safer right now to try and avoid losing this delicate lead they have built up. And, uh, you know, then he just flare blitz, because why not? It was actually a decent punish. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have expected it. Uh, unfortunately, we get the team kill from the Zard pack air on Little Pichu at 160. And Wolf Forward are actually killing. So it's just like that, now Red Team is actually behind in stocks. Uh, like that That's how precarious their lead was. But the good news is the Blue Team's damage is still slowly racking up. So there's still plenty of potential here. And this is a really bad spot for Wolf against Pichu. Gets the F tilt, but unfortunately Ivysaur cannot follow up off that. You know, I, I really like what uh, Cool Beans, the wolf here, is doing. He's uh, outmaneuvering basic. Like, his his whole plan right now isn't necessarily to be, like, the combo, but he's just there as backup. Uh, with Smirky, lands a single hit, you see Cool Beans immediately try and uh, position himself for the follow-up. And as Smirky is getting hit, you see Cool Beans immediately go to try and back it up. He's just there for the option coverage. Option coverage and protection. And that, that's a role that I feel not a lot of people appreciate enough in doubles. Okay. So... Oh, this is actually really, really scary. Because Pichu's so light. A good protection by Temporary Plan manages to get them off the Pichu, even though he got hit by the uh, Tornado. Okay. So now we have Pichu who needs to stock tank here and just survive. Which uh, may be a little tricky, but the good news is he's small. And uh, actually has decent kill power. So not only is he hard to hit, but it's difficult to approach. And that was a really ill advice. Oh. That might possibly be the worst Pokemon trainer doubles play I have seen in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> and all respect to Temporary Plan, he is actually very knowledgeable with this character. He's very good. But that raw down smash into killing his teammate, into immediate just raw up B, and then just killing himself. I don't know about any of that. That game did start with a temporary plan SD though, and that game was still very close. So there was a couple of mistakes there that pretty easy to redeem, pretty easy to come back from. 
Uh, it seems like we're starting with Squirtle this time. I forget if you did that last game or not. And then, there we go. There's the uh, Ivysaur swip up, switch I was kind of expecting. Uh, Ivysaur with not only a decent projectile, but good range and disjoints, which is uh, very, very valuable in doubles to uh, control the very little space that you actually have to work with. Okay, gets the down throw up B. Doesn't sweet spot, so doesn't actually do too much. Is that the wolf? Cool, that's an interesting cheer. I've never heard that before. Okay. Uh, so it looks like both Pokemon Trainer and Wolf just lost their first stock. Uh, so honestly, whoever can take the first one between Sword Fighter and Pichu is in a very, very good spot. Or at least a better one. Now that said, this Pokemon Trainer needs to start actually... If, the, if he is going to do this route of 1v1ing the wolf, he does need to start getting a little more damage on. Because if he just keeps getting batted around like this, then this stock being even isn't going to mean much for much longer. And that's kind of the... So that, that's the risk-reward with Zard. Huge hitter. Does lots of damage. Easy kills, but so big that he just gets comboed for free. Just like that, he actually is down to one stock while uh, Sword Fighter is still on three. Okay, manages to actually finish off that though. So, if they can manage to break through into this wolf, then uh, it is entirely possible for them to make this comeback. Uh, both Sword Fighter and Wolf have pretty bad recoveries, uh, whereas the Pokemon are pretty blessed to have at least decent mix-ups. Okay, so there's the Wolf, as we were talking about. It is now 2-1 to one on both, it's just Ivysaur is substantially higher. Welcome back. Uh, well, it was Game 1 to Smirking Cool Beans. Really? Yep. Okay. Uh, temporary plan kind of, you know, was getting a stride that game. Uh, and this time around, it's looking good again for the blue team. We got Ivysaur already at 130 on his last stock. But like I said, as long if they if they can, honestly, I think it's up to the Pichu here to try and go for some kind of a really solid uh, momentum play, you know? Get All someone right. off stage, get a good spike. <coughs> well, that's the scary thing about the Wolf on, on this team is that he kind of slows down momentum. Yeah, exactly. Especially with that laser. It's, it's so good at just forcing you to stop. Mm -hmm. it, it makes you take a second to question. Ooh, okay, actually the Ivysaur gets it. So now it's onto the Mi Sword Fighter to clear out the way. Now, even if they do manage to get the Mii Sword Fighter, it's not bad for blue team, and vice versa if they manage to get the Ivasaur, it's not bad for red team. Yeah. But definitely a shoestring for both teams here. Oh, yeah. And it, we're, we're, this is... Okay, so there there goes Ivysaur, and now I expect to see uh, really, goes, really safe play. Mii Sword Fighter. Oh, my bad, my bad. You know what I meant. Yeah. Uh, okay. Alright, doesn't... Small choke on the up B. Both teams uh, managed to lose their last stock that way in both games. This is best of five, right? This is a best of five, yes. Okay. I don't expect to see Pokemon Stadium the entire set. It, it is possible. Okay, maybe they're just going to do it. Oh my god. This is the Arizona Project M special. <laughs> If they go, if they go to game five, I'm requesting Zinnia's theme. Where's 
might Team Galactus. Or whatever they fucking call it. Mm -hmm. Charging Blurring Blade. Okay. Alright, so what sort of adaptations allowed Red Team to pull back from Game 1 to Game 2 there? Uh... Honestly, the big thing was just uh, cleaning up the play. I saw there were, I think, three team kills in game one and uh, two SGs from temporary plant. So, uh, just just the cleanup. They, they don't even have like that many strong conversions. As you can see, it's actually more or less like two separate 1v1s. Yeah, it's looking like that. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's something I think blue team is doing a oh, little better than red team right now, is their, their ability to kind of stop the tunnel vision and help out their teammate. But uh, red team is just doing stronger at the actually finishing portion of it. And here, here's the two separate 1v1s until Wolf comes to try and break it up. There's the up air. Okay. I expect to see him switch off of Zard pretty quickly. It's great ledge trump there by the Mii Sword Fighter. <laughs> I, I actually did not think he would get that. So that's going to be... Oh, okay. No punish on that. Actually gets hit by the side B. And they're both just going for their respective edge guards. It's pretty funny. Wow, that's that will not kill. Enough. See, now this is something I, I don't like basically any other character than Ivysaur. I, I'll be totally honest. I think Ivysaur is objectively the best. Uh, and I think in these matches we can see that too. Because when he goes Ivysaur, he gets more damage, he gets more kills, better follow-ups. Ivysaur does seem to have the best uh, neutral. Yeah. Which in a double scenario that can be... That could be to the benefit. Squirtle has a great combo game, but I could see it being interrupted quite a yeah. few times. Yeah, see, that right there, that that kind of punish game, you're not going to see that with any other character. Yeah. And that, that's such a good switch in recognition from Temporary Plan, realizing, okay, I could just pick I or uh, Charizard, go for the kill, but instead, I'd rather pick the safer option, go Ivysaur, and still have some kill power, you know? Yeah. For Temp, I think a Squirtle could do great. The problem is he's, he's probably got some adjustment period from Project M Squirtle, which is mm -hmm. three place. And, and they're similar, but they are different enough that it's probably throwing off his rhythm. Right. Okay, and there, there's the swap straight from Zard to Ivysaur. Uh, Squirtle has not been working out for him, uh, for, for this specific set anyways. Uh, it could just he, be matchup. Uh, when they when they played Frozen and Valor, he went Squirtle a few times. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the pressure on this one is forcing him to go Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. yeah, and good good projectile play, good zoning play. Yep. Uh, <coughs> with that good zoning play comes uh, a really good like spacing and the ability to pressure correctly. Yep. Just sort of yeah. force him to approach with that razor leaf and then. Start smacking him around with vines. Oh, he uh, SD'd? Okay, no, no. He, still, he, he was able to switch in time. Okay, we got some Squirtle and straight to Ivysaur as soon as he gets some space. This game's looking pretty close. Yeah, I actually think this is slightly in Red Team's favor just because they have, I think, better kill setups than Blue Team does. Because Blue Team is going to be relying mostly on me, Swordfighter, up air. Uh, and that back not throw? Enough. Nope. But that might be enough to gimp the sword fighter, not quite. Okay. And up air, yeah. Yep. Oh, he kills himself. Yeah. Uh, so it's actually a 1v1. Tier list wise, th this seems like Peachy would win, right? Hey, yeah. But we're talking about Smurky here. So what are we going to see? We're going to see that NATO blade a lot. We're going to see uh, probably lots of forward air. Okay. 
Getting a little snuffed out by Pichu. I'm expecting a Thunder finish. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting it now. He's going for it. Yeah, that unfortunately doesn't combo, I think, unless you get like a super hard read on the yeah. DI. Okay. Actually, uh, Shields of Tornado that time. He has been getting hit by it quite a lot. So it's good to see that adjustment. Might be fishing for the forward tilt here. Because I don't kill at this percent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's fishing for it. Mm -hmm. And th this it's is quick. It's safe. It's it's a great tool for Pichu. Yeah. There we go. And P Pichu just has safer options to look for in that kind of situation than any kind than anything this sword fighter has. Yeah. But that was still very good play from Zace, maintaining actually a good distance. Uh, you know, not over committing understanding this is my zone of pressure and you have to respect it. God, look how bad that Mii Sword Fighter looks. It's actually <laughs> pixelated. <laughs> All the Mii's are like that. It's gross. It does not look finished. It's if you pay too much attention to the face. <laughs> all, all my Mii's have like a mask on so you don't see it. That's smart. Wow, already Zace is at 33. I didn't quite see how that happened, but... God, got sort of smacked by double aerial. Gotcha. <coughs> okay, so what do you think blue team needs to be doing here? I think he's starting off okay with, with shooting off. Mm -hmm. uh, shooting off that laser a few more, a little more, because it's going to be your greatest tool to sort of control portions of the stage that might be a little too risky to approach. Gotcha. A as well as discourage them from just running forward. Um, so me, Sword Fighter is, is looking strong. It's looking like it's doing what it needs to. Here we go. We're starting to see these lasers come out. Yeah. And that's the thunder. Oh, he Where dies at go? 90. Yeah. Yeah. The wolf here can start capitalizing more on, on situations where that'll be kill. Enough. Yeah. yeah. That unfortunate recovery. Okay. So once again, this comes down to me, sword fighter, or Ivasaur. Whoever dies first grants their team a, uh, or whoever survives the longest will grant their team a significant advantage. Scary stuff. I like how whenever they reset, it just comes to one person on each platform just throwing a projectile. It looks pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like on a majority of the scenarios, just uh, Wolf keeps coming up short, either getting beat out on frames or it's just misspaced by just enough. Yeah. And if you were to clean up a bit of that, I, I think it would be incredibly tough to deal with for Red Team. Yeah, and Red Team, really good position now. They not only uh, cleaned up that Mii Sword Fighter stock, but they actually tacked on an extra wolf. And this is the power of just the Ivy Sword, dude. So much kill power to have with almost every aerial. Uh, there's, there's almost no position where you're just safe. And that you know, Ivy Sword living forever. Yeah. He's playing really... Oh, okay. Well, he got hit by that, but... You can see him kind of smile it off, knows it's not really a big deal. You know, they're yeah, just, looking just at Just to strong make it enough. to 215% and, and tack <laughs> on as much bonus damage as possible. Yeah. And, and it's well worth the stock. They are really, yeah. Jeez, that killed. Okay. Uh, blue team, pretty massive disadvantage. And you aren't going to be gimping Pokemon Trainer or Pichu, really. So they have quite the hill to climb here. It's hard because they can't just sit back either because, you know, they have Thunder Jolt, they have Razor Leaf. Uh, they have to make their own uh, way into this. 
And that was a missed punish off that spike on stage, you know? Yeah. That's what I mean. Just a little cleaner from the wolf than this would be. Yeah. Okay. If... It, it's even in stock, and there's certainly a percent lead for a red team. Yeah. But if, if they can bump around this Charizard before he switches... Bump around the Zard or kill this Pichu. If they manage to kill the Pichu, they're in a very, very, very good spot. Well, that was really close. Aw, oh, it just comes down with the raw forward air. Now this Wolf has to start... He has to put in work. A lot of work. Yeah. There it is. Clean up smash onto the platform. That's a 3-1. Yeah. Good job to Zayson Temporary Plan. I believe they said their 